Every time I go live, I get really bad anxiety. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but today's a little bit special because it is the first day that I am talking on stream because I was really anxious about it. Um, and I continue to be anxious about it, but we're gonna work through it and continue on. Um, currently I'm working on a series for my Instagram that is fairy tale inspired. Um, and I need to render this piece right here um, for Wednesday because that's when I said I would get it out. Um, Last Friday, I posted this one, which was based off of Little Ida's Flowers. And today, at around noon, we're going to post this one, which is based off of The Golden Bird. Um, I took a lot of creative liberties on this because this is an American goldfinch, and this boy should be a man. And he should be riding on the fox's tail, but you know, that's what art is. Um, <laughs> so this one, my audience on Instagram voted for the three bears, and that's what we're doing today. Um, hopefully I can get some stuff done on this because, as I said, it is due on the Wednesday. I'm cutting it a bit close. Um, and, you know, that's fine. But if anyone wants to chat, feel free. Um, we're just working on this really chill kind of stream. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about why I'm streaming, I guess. Um, that probably would make some sense. Uh, so I started streaming because I have been looking for chill vibes to kind of stream to. Um, I mean, to render to, really. Um, and it's hard. It's surprisingly hard to find someone that has a good balance of music and talking and a community that you feel comfortable in. Um, so I have been looking and looking and looking and looking and I have a lot of anxiety. So why does this keep happening? Hold on, I gotta switch up the music because this is not... I need it to play. Like, I need, I need music to play too. Um, okay, better. So, I had a really hard time finding anyone that I felt comfortable hanging out with. Um, and there's a couple people that I do feel comfortable, but it seems like they all stream on the same days um and that's not you know every day of the week which is kind of what i need <laughs> because I, I render a lot during the days and i need more from a streamer and like everyone has their own lives but i need someone to be there so i figured i might be able to fill in that space for some other people. People are having a rough time finding a supportive community where they're able to just render and hang out and lurk and do whatever they want to do. Um, I'm hoping to provide that to some people because that's what I have been looking for personally. Um, and it's hard to find. It is hard to find. Let's see. 
What am I doing? I also use a lot of layers, so like, don't mind me. Why does that look like dark gray and not black? Also, This dark gray? It is. <laughs> it's because it is. It is dark gray. I don't know if that did anything, really. You can't really tell if it did. That's fine. Um, I haven't really decided what this, this channel is going to be uh, because it might be family friendly. I don't know. I think I want it to be family friendly because I have two nephews who are quite young and I don't want to ever tell them that they can't watch me. I guess. <laughs> like I swear or something like that. Could you imagine? Like you're just like, hey bubs, you can't watch me because um, I swear too much. <laughs> um, I couldn't imagine ever telling them that so it, it the possibility of it being family friendly is pretty high. I'm gonna copy this layer. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just refill it in. Um, sometimes I have a bit of, a, of trouble with Clip Studio when I am streaming. So let's, this is just a heads up that that might happen. Um, and I'm sorry if it does. <laughs> what else can we talk about? He's kind of cross-eyed, but I kind of like that for him. Like he's supposed to be kind of a stuffy or, you know, like a, um, I don't know what else do people call them, stuffed animals. Um, that's kind of what he's supposed to be like, so I don't mind him being so cross-eyed. It's kind of cute. In my opinion. Let's see if this works for him. A lot of times I copy and paste the eyes, and I forget to take the highlights out. Um, I don't like that one. What about this this be under? Yeah, kind of like that. Um, I'll copy and paste the eyes and I'll forget to take the highlights out. Um, and that's not ideal. Also, I have to figure out, like, I have to clean up these shapes a bit. Probably should do that. That back on. Um, the story of three bears actually, like, when you think about it, you think about Goldilocks. The original was actually um, handwritten, which is funny, and it was about an old lady and three bears. Um, and the bears were not like mom, dad, and son or whatever. They were actually just friends that wanted to live in a human house for some reason. So. You know, that's kind of cool. I like that about this series that I'm doing because um, all of the fairy tales that we know and love kind of are more renditions of the originals. Um, and it's really interesting to kind of figure out exactly <clears throat> where things came from and what what they actually were about. <laughs> also, this is this is being a little bit rough. Undo that, dude. Trying to um, grab the color. Thank you. I need to get better at the sketching stage because, truly and honestly, um, that's where I'm failing a bit in terms of skill set. I mean, I, I'm not a professional artist, um, 
I just do this for fun. Right now, I would love to be a professional artist, but I'm like not, not on that level yet. <laughs> uh, so I'm not gonna pretend I am, because I'm not. But um, my sketching needs, I mean, you can see this is my sketch. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> that tells me nothing. It's not very helpful. Um, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Also, it did like this one versus this one. Like, do we not have. No, I think we do. It just looks like to me like this right one here. Um, more black, which is odd, but um, I guess we'll fix it. Like this look better. They're not exactly even. We'll fix it later. <laughs> the story of my life that I'm just like, we'll fix it later, and it never gets fixed. <laughs> or at the end, I'm just like. Ah oh, man, I really don't want to do that. I'm like I'm rushing like five minutes before it's supposed to be posted posted. I'm like, oh this needs to be tweaked or that needs to be tweaked. Um But I'm doing a lot better this month than I did last month. I was really rushing through a lot of different pieces because I was trying to do um there's a challenge, it's called Inktober and um the last year, the owner of Inktober was really weird about copyrights and all that stuff. So instead, I did Witchtober, and I was rushing to get a piece out every single day. And I ultimately hated like 90% of my work, and I was really dreading art a lot. Um, <laughs> and that's not what you want from like a hobby. Like you don't want to be dreading anything that you're doing because you know that's just not ideal in any way shape or form um and so this month i decided to do something a little bit different in terms of having my own challenge that i was working on um, and that will allow me to do just have a little bit more freedom about what i want to do um and how quickly I get things out, like, instead of 31 drawings in one month plus, you know, I was doing an additional, at a class during that time, so I was doing an entire poster of work, and that was crazy. That was the biggest piece I'd ever worked on. Um, it was stressing me out. The pace was not great for me. It wasn't like it, it was not a college class or anything but it was just like a course that I was taking on my own and I really didn't need to be stressed out about the timing but I was because I'm an anxious person <laughs> um and you know I was trying to do all these drawings with also this poster in mind and it was crazy I don't understand like I truly do not know what I was thinking when I did that because I was not enjoying anything that I was doing. Like, that's not a way to do art. Like, you need to enjoy things. Um, and if you're not enjoying things, you need to reevaluate because you should be having fun. Um, <laughs> which is crazy. So, I was doing, I did 31 drawings, plus a couple of Draw This In Your Style challenges plus um, the poster and it was just insane um, so this this one I actually am trying out automatic drawing this month which is just kind of like a meditation practice and for some reason my style when I'm drawing an automatic drawing which is you're not supposed to think about what you're doing um, for some reason I have a very abstract style which is just kind of hilarious um, 
because, you know, look at this. Not abstract, not abstract, not abstract. For some reason, my drawings, when I'm drawing automatically, extremely abstract, um, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, no, no. Hold on. Okay. Um, can't believe that. Like my my style changes so drastically. Like I I'm fairly new to art. Um, back in high school, I took a, I did like art. Took a couple of courses um, in high school. But once I got to college, I kind of didn't take any more courses, and I just um, gave up on that for the more practical aspects of life, um, which probably wasn't good because I'm a very creative person, um, but I just started digital art back in May of 2021, so, you know, some amount of um, months ago, really. Sorry, I'm just, I need to, I'm working on a laptop, so I need to plug in my laptop because it's about to die, and that's not a deal. Streaming really, like, this was fully charged five minutes ago. <laughs> Um, streaming really kills your battery. Uh, but, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I just started art back in um, May this year. Um, and it's been really helpful in terms of getting more grounded and stuff. But it's also one of these things, like, when you start doing art, you don't progress as fast as you want. Oh my god, I just looked up and it just said forget us instead of progress. <laughs> this thing is scuffed. It's fine. It's the best I can do currently. Um, but, you know. So, like, essentially, I want to be, like, a uh, like, the stage I want my art to be at is not at all where my skill level is at, which is hard because you have tastes as an artist that um, don't get, you know, necessarily um, shown very well because you're, um, your tastes don't get shown because you're just not at that skill level yet. Which is, like, you have to accept that. It's very difficult to say, you know, I'm working very hard on my art, um, but I'm, you know, not quite where I want to be. Um, and that, I think that's another thing about that course that I took. There are a lot of, like, professional level artists, and I am not, not there just not quite there. I mean, I'm really not there. Um, and like, the comparison that you do, because we're taught in society to compare ourselves to others, make progress, etc, etc, and so on, um, it's very difficult to be a relatively new artist and be comparing yourself to people who have been drawing for years and years and years. Um, and you're like, I'm not there yet. Like, Will I ever be there? I don't know. Um, but you're pitting yourself against very experienced people in different stages of their journey, and it's very difficult not to do that, not to fall into that trap. Um, it just is really hard, you know? Um, I don't know if anyone else experiences that. Like, you're like, you could even be on Instagram and you're like, are relatively new and you're just trying to share your art and like learn and there's all these people who have these beautiful feeds um absolutely stunning color palettes absolutely stunning compositions 
um, and they figured it out. And I'm like, why am I not there? And you're looking at someone who's been on Instagram for a year, well established, and they've been <coughs> developing their style way before that. And it's very difficult to not compare yourself like as a, I don't know, like six months old artist, <laughs> maybe basically a little baby infant artist that, um, you know, it's hard to compare yourself, like not compare yourself. You have to remember everyone's at different stages of their journey, but like, it's difficult to remember that, you know, you don't have to be as good as everybody else immediately. Like people are on a journey. <laughs> If you see the layers on the right over here, um, above the little crystal changing, it's because I have a reference sheet and it's in a different window so that I don't, you know, show potentially copyrighted pieces on my stream because I'm planning on, uh, I'm planning on putting my streams on a VOD channel on YouTube, just in case, you know, because there are streamers that I watch who don't have a VOD channel, and I'm like, I would love to just binge watch all of your content and figure out, um, you know, how you played previously, and maybe, like, I don't have the time to watch it immediately, but, like, I would love to watch it back, um, because VODs only last, I think, two weeks on your channel, um, and some people just don't have a YouTube. So I want that to be available to people, um, and I would also like, how big is this? That's perfect. Okay. I would also like for people to be able to see my journey. Like it's kind of difficult, even on Twitch, um, to figure out exactly, um, how long somebody's been streaming, how they started, because you're seeing like the end point of their journey, um, which is just one part of it, or like you're not, you're like you're seeing a different stage than they started out as. Um, and it's difficult to say, it's difficult to understand that everyone's at a different place to understand that it's okay um, to not immediately have 150 viewers or a billion people in chat. Like, a lot of the people I watch, because I get a kick out of them, like, I love watching gaming uh, channels. Um, a lot of the people I watch have thousands of viewers at every, any given time. Like, understanding that you're not going to immediately be there, very difficult. Um, and when they don't have a VOD channel or even a YouTube channel where you can like go back and see like, oh, they started really small as well. They started streaming to literally no one and talking to themselves in a room by themselves and just like being comfortable with that. Like, I would love for new streamers to, if I succeed and if I end up liking this format, I would love for new streamers to be able to see my entire journey um, from start to finish. I don't know if he's necessarily... I mean, he's kind of cute. I'm still figuring out exactly what pens I have. I'm working on... <laughs> I am a pen hoarder. And I'm working on, like, if this whole Twitch thing works out where people want to see me and I enjoy doing it, I want to have commands for all of my brushes so that people can figure out what they are and like quickly find them and download them for themselves because um, a lot of times it's very difficult to find the brushes that a streamer uses or like someone on YouTube or Instagram. Like I want it to be very easy. <laughs> so I've been setting up a list of um, my brushes and I'm like, why do I, I don't even use half of these. Why do I have so many brushes? Why do I use so many things? <laughs> um, 
but I hoard them because I'm like, oh, that's like a pretty texture, pretty uh, start or end to a brush. Like that could be useful for something. It's like not at all my style. I would never use it. You know, I'm just like, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, definitely gonna use that. Definitely exactly what I want in a brush. <laughs> you don't have to like every brush that someone else likes. And there's so many brushes, like so many free brushes. Like I cleared out all my brush, tip uh, brush tips because um, I figured that I was gonna make my own, which was very ambitious of me and did not end up happening <laughs> yet. We'll see what happens. In the future it hasn't happened yet. Um, hello? What's going on there? Do I have some weird... Oh, I do have some weird brush on. Funny thing is, like, right now, my reference sheet is over my brushes, so, like, you guys can see them perfectly. I changed my stream format. So that people could see my brushes and also so that I could see my brushes so that I would know which brushes exactly I was using at any given time. Um, but currently there's a reference sheet right in front of my brushes so I cannot tell what my brushes look like, which ones I'm using. <laughs> that means I was testing out, like I'm going through all my brushes just to make sure that I truly want each and every one of them in my life um, because I have too many and I'm not sure if I want each and every one of them to be honest with you um, but I'm on some weird brushes and some of my things because of that where are the eyes going? here. It's gonna be funny because he's not entirely like centered but I think that's kind of like I wanted these mismatched frames and this kind of fall cover color scheme like the muted color scheme um, and I wanted I wanted it to kind of be like a family photo wall or something like that you know because I thought that would be I thought that would be funny in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> you know, with me still figuring out exactly what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, this brush, unfortunately, like I love this brush so much, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to share it because this is from um, This is from Procreate. Like I caved and I don't I don't have an iPad. I caved and I bought the Procreate pocket. <laughs> because, you know, why not? Um, and this is one of their brushes and I wish I could share it with everyone because it's so beautiful. But um, I stole it's a pain in the butt. They like have so so many protections on their brush tips. I like stole the brush tip from my thing and like reformatted it and put it in, in Clip Studio, um, which was an absolute pain, but also it's fine. I'm gonna merge these because I can. I wonder what I want this guy's eyes to look like. Again, kind of a little bit cross-eyed. They're all supposed to be like teddy bears. So for them to all be a little bit cross-eyed makes sense. It's gonna be bad. Turn these off for a second. Okay. Cute. Cute, cute. But I really wish, I'm hoping, um, 
I'm great at sentences. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that at some point Clip Studio allows like the brush engine on Procreate and the brush engine on Clip Studio are extremely different. Um, but I'm hoping at some point they're able to figure out how to import brush files into um, like Procreate brush files into Clip Studio because there's a lot of beautiful Procreate brushes that I would love to have that I just can't like you can't even steal the I would totally pay for a bunch of different um, Procreate brush files for myself from a bunch of different creators on like Etsy and stuff. But literally you, you can't, it's pretty much impossible to um, get the brush tips out of anything else, which is sad. Um, but you know, I understand that like there's all sorts of issues with um, people stealing and reselling and not understanding copyright. Just as like I would like them, and I wouldn't do that. Give them to me. Um, but we are able to have Photoshop brushes, which is really nice. Do we like this? I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. Nope, 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 nope. Forgot these were on the same layer. <laughs> okay. Resized. Sometimes my clip studio gets a little bit angry at me when I'm streaming. Um, so if you're seeing me struggling a little bit, it's just a little mad at me. It's fine, it'll all work out. Too big. That's good. Uh, I stupidly, <laughs> I stupidly, uh, put this on the same layer as the eyes for my little polar bear dude. And so, things are a little bit weird. see a little bit of lag on my clip studio. I don't have the best computer. Um, <laughs> literally, if you saw my stream setup, but I think if any streamer saw my stream setup, they'd be like, what the heck are you doing? How are you even live right now? <laughs> because I have a laptop on Wi-Fi um, connected to... Hopefully, can, can you hear me? Is everything working? I have a laptop on Wi-Fi connected to um, a computer TV that is 10 plus years old that I, I stole from uh, my parents. Uh, and my mic is a lavalier mic that is clipped to, <laughs> clipped to my... Um, hoodie because it's cold and early. It is 6 a.m. right now, which I was I was planning to go live at 6.30, but um, daylight savings happened and I'm up earlier than that. <laughs> um, but so I have that connected to the TV screen and I have OBS open on that. And then I have my stream open on my phone because 
Um, I can't have three tabs open. I have OBS and Clip Studio open and I need another one to see chat just in case anyone says hi, <laughs> which no one has yet. That's fine. <laughs> but it's, it's, I mean, I swear to God, if anyone saw this, they'd be like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> um, also, as I said earlier, um, I might be doing family friendly streams in future just because um, of my two nephews that I would like to be able to tell that um, they can see this if they want. Um, I don't think they will want to because they don't really watch a lot of TV, but if they do want to, I would like to tell them that they can. And unfortunately, things like heck actually can't be said in front of my nephews. Um, they, you have to say what in the world or something like that because um, they think heck is a swear word. <laughs> These are like all supposed to be kind of photographs or portraits or something so I'm trying to decide if I like that kind of ring light that you can see on like a professional video and stuff. So what the heck is going on right there? I don't want that. Go away. I need some better textures on these dudes, but I just want to get the, the layouts done. Um, What else can I talk about to myself? <laughs> I don't know how people do this, but like I said, I want to create a space for people to just be able to watch and stream, watch and like render, do whatever they want. That's really chill. A couple of people that I've watched and like no shade or anything, but um, I've just had trouble because like their music was on balance with their voice so like if that's happening here yell at me in the chat but um I've had trouble staying because I get migraines and like it just has stressed me out and given me a headache to hang out in their streams and I'm like Ugh, I would love to be here but like your music is so loud and your voice is so not like please help <laughs> like um and there's a couple people that just have some weird settings. Like I'm really trying, I'm trying to get into watching some more artists because I am an artist and I would like to watch more of them. Um, but unfortunately it's very difficult to find um, people that I feel comfortable in people's chats. I also just lurk, like I'm a lurker. I don't like to talk to people and I also feel like a creep sometimes as a lurker. But you know, it is what it is. Um, but I like to lurk in people's chats, which is just what I like to do. Um, and sometimes it's like, there's inside jokes you don't get and like you can't catch up quickly and then you're just like you feel alienated um, and I hope that I can avoid that if I end up making a community that people feel safe in uh, because that's really my whole goal I want people to feel safe and included um, but yeah that's <laughs> I'm sure it's really difficult to the best a streamer with a large audience, especially if you've been doing it for a long time. Like the whole sense of community is very important. It just I'm very awkward. I'm an awkward and anxious person. Like I think it's probably me. Um, but you know, humans as a general rule don't really like to blame themselves for situations instead. <laughs> 
I won't blame it on the streamers. Like, no, it's me. It's truly just me being an awkward person. Um, which, you know, I can accept. It's fine. Self-awareness. Accept that you were awkward. It's like, um, I have a wedding coming up, which is my cousin's wedding, which got postponed for reasons that are related to the current pandemic. They were supposed to get married in um, December of last year, him and his wife, and instead they're getting married December this year. And I'm tall, I'm 5'8", um, and I want to wear heels, right? But they shoot me right up to like six foot and everyone else is short. Um, and you're just kind of like, you got to accept you're a tall person and like just be comfortable with that because otherwise um, you're just going to have to wear flats your whole life. And like I was able to accept that with like non-family members, but for some reason, family members, real rough to accept that you're tall, <laughs> even though all the guys in my family are super tall. Um, okay, hold on a minute. I just have to pee really quick. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just grab a pencil and just write. This is my pencil. Is this mine? Don't have to break. I don't know that anyone's here, but if someone shows up. Alright, I'll be back. In a minute. Okay, I'm back. I also drank some water because um, I don't want anyone to get the heebie-jeebies when I drink water since my mic is so close to my mouth and I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> um, I'll do that. Oh, each stroke. Should have written in cursive. Um, what am I working on? <laughs> These frames are going to be a fun one to um, do because, you know, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Usually with frames, like, I make a very intricate, like, filigree thing and then I get a, like, gold or silver paper image and then I clip it to that. <laughs> 
and I call that a frame and these are colored like what am I gonna do with these I have no idea <laughs> I think my mic is better yeah we're fine I've seen a lot of people like come back from something and they've muted their mics right and they forget to unmute and you'll miss like everything they're saying <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that person. Um, I'm sure it will happen at some point if I continue to stream. Um, but hopefully not today. I gotta fix this mess. This mess. Something playing. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, this is working. If you're seeing in chat, this pretzel rocks thing is a free service because um, I'll probably upgrade if I end up streaming and liking it. It's just a free service and it gives the credit to the artist essentially like you have to set it up so that um, well actually it just doesn't allow you to change it which is good because I was like how how do I put on the setting I need to give everyone the credit that they deserve but it it um, posts in chat for me what song is playing, and if I upgrade, then um, that won't pop up anymore. So I hope I can put on a like a widget or something so that people can still see. Like I actually would prefer a widget. That would be like probably where the moon is on my screen. Um, or like, I'm, I'm probably going to change the stream setup again because, you know, I get into a mood where I want to avoid doing actual work. <laughs> so like redrawing the stream setup makes a lot of sense to me because, hey, like it's just drawing. And it's, you know, something that needs to be done, air quotes, because you're trying to stream. But like I already... <laughs> I already have designed it twice. I was going to try and go for um, like a Mad Hatter thing because if I ever make it to affiliate, which I don't know if that will ever happen, but if it does, um, if it does, I want to have teacups for my sub badges. Like I already, when I initially started, um, when I initially started art, I started actually with emotes and um, digital art. When I originally started digital art, I started with emotes and um, sub badges, and they're like actually still available on Etsy. Um, but don't do that. Um, but I don't like love what I did, and I probably will end up taking those down at some point just because um you know I I don't know that I absolutely adore everything that I made five or six months ago and you know I did have some people buy them but like it's just one of those things like if you hate it and you don't want people to use it take it down I don't hate them they're all like I have a little rubber duck sub badges that I actually think are super cute. I don't know if anyone, no one's bought them. I think they're super cute. Um, it's like a pirate and a sailor and a nurse and a cowboy. There's all sorts of them. They're actually available on Redbubble too. Um, I just started Redbubble. I've been making excuses in terms of like why I can't do something. Like, oh, I don't have the design skills, or I don't have a full brand, I haven't fully figured out my style yet. And it's like, just start. You're not going to figure anything out until you start. Which is why I'm streaming, because I was like, I'm thinking about streaming for a while. Um, and I've been looking for communities and putting it off and hemming and hawing. And at the end of the day... Um, nothing's going to happen unless I make it happen. 
And if I don't do it, I'll never know if I like it or not. Hello? Hello? Why aren't you working? This is one of my favorite brushes if it- oh, I know why. <laughs> I do this all the time where I like set a brush to transparent so that it like... Um, so that it can be an eraser, right? And then I forget that I did that. And then I'm like, why is my brush? Is my brush not working? Why is my brush not working? And it's like, it's in transparent mode. That's why it's not working. Depending on the day, like it really depends on the day, how much I move my canvas. Some days I don't move my canvas, like I don't rotate it at all. And then like days like today, I'm all, I'm like, you gotta, you gotta rotate it every two seconds. This one, yeah, just a little too dark. I also need to do it on the ears. I gotta rethink. I'm really bad at shading. Like, I don't look just like everything looks a little bit dirty. Like, not. And the faces look fine enough, but like. I need to add some texture in. The back of them look really bad. Look at this poor guy. He's just like... He's like, hello, you didn't spend any time on me yet. And I look bad. Help. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been here for almost an hour. Um, I'm not feeling too bad. It's like one of those things, like the forest dream, I have all the anxiety and I try and put it off. Um, and I actually, thank God, I just watched something and it was like, have a stream schedule. And I was like, okay, we'll do it in the morning, right when I get up and um, I won't have any time to worry about it. Like clearly I ate breakfast and brushed my teeth and all that stuff, like I got ready for my day. But, I was like, just do it immediately um, so you can't worry about it and like stick to the schedule if you want to grow. And so that's why I'm on early today. Like actually I'm not supposed to be live for another 12 minutes, but um, I was up early because of daylight saving time. And I was like, okay, we're just gonna hop on stream. Try not to get too anxious about it. I did get pretty anxious, had to do a grounding practice and then I got on. And now that I'm on stream, not a single issue, literally. I'm completely fine. Um, so it's one of those things, like, I don't know if you guys know, but like, I think it's a phrase by Brene Brown. Um, she says, feel the fear and do it anyway. So I'm applying that to <laughs> This and it's feel the anxiety and do it anyway because what is that anxiety actually doing for me? It is doing very little. It is just making me um, not do the things that I want to do. And that's not helpful to anybody. Clean this guy up hopefully. A little bit, a little bit. I don't know how people I mean, like, first off, I'm not a very talkative person. Um, it's taking me a lot to kind of talk on here um, for an extended period of time, which is why I only planned for a couple of hours to stream. Um, I don't know how people talk continuously and have stuff to talk about. I mean, a lot of them have chats that are pretty active, and I'm just alone. Or, you know, with some lurkers, which is fine. I lurk, don't worry. If you're a lurker, don't worry about lurking. Um, I lurk too. I love lurking. Um, but I don't know how they, how do they find topics to talk about for hours on end? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. 
I'm hoping that I can finish or get close to finishing this today. And then if I do that, um, I can start on, I think the next one that I'm doing is Briar Rose, which if you're here and you're lurking and you um, want to, I do like eight days before I post this month um, on my Instagram story, which is the same as my Twitch username. I put out a poll um, to vote for which, which um, fairy tale people want to see. And I give people two options. So today I think that um, it was between for the last 24 hours, it was between The Traveling Companion, which was by Han Hans Christian Andersen, and The Goose Girl, which is by The Brothers Grimm. And I think The Goose Girl won. But the next one that I'm working on, because I give myself, um, I give myself a week to work on things because I fuss with things. <laughs> um, but the next one I have to work on is Briar Rose, which I'll probably, like I'm streaming again on Thursday because stream schedules, it might be at five again. It might be at um, 6.30, like it's supposed to be. <laughs> if I start early, it just, the reason I put it at 6.30 was because I was getting up regularly at like 5.30. It takes me a half hour to 45 minutes to get ready. And I was like, this is fine, you know, like that's a good time to, um, it seemed good enough. That's why I had it at 6.30, it just is messed up because of daylight savings. Um, so I might be on early, that just means that I can probably stream for a little bit longer before I have to start um, my paid job, which is to work in data, if anyone cares. Um, don't know that anyone does, but that's fine. <laughs> We're running out of things to talk about, and I still probably have a good, I don't know, hour and a half to two hours to continue talking. <laughs> you ever just, like, start something, and you're like, how did I do this to myself? <laughs> I just, I don't have enough to talk about. I mean, I guess I can talk about, what can I talk about? Thanksgiving is coming up. I'm debating doing like a, I think, you know, I've said anxiety on the stream a lot. I have a lot of anxiety um, and I don't do well around a lot of people. And unfortunately at Thanksgiving, we have, my parents have a lot of people, so I can't really attend. Um, because it just is too much for me. I just have too much, it gives me too much, um, stress and anxiety to, to be there with people. Um, because we have this year, usually at base we have 23 people. Um, but this year we have 30 people coming over and I'm like, I just can't, I can't handle, can't handle 30 people. It just is too many people for me. Um, so I might just do a full day of streaming on, I don't know if it'll be a full day. I think it'll be like maybe a different time. I might skip my morning stream to help my parents set up for the people to come. Um, or I might do a morning stream, take a break, and then do an afternoon stream where I do like a six hour, um, six hour thing because I can. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. I don't know if I can talk for six hours, but I want people to have a place to come to Thanksgiving is such a weird holiday. Um, the things that we're celebrating are just not good things to celebrate. Um, 
and my family mostly uses it as a time and an excuse to get together, but I still feel just kind of icky uh, celebrating it like we do because truly and honestly not the best holiday. Okay, so that's not going to work. I need actual black for this one. Um, so I just want people, you know, to have a place because I don't, because of my whole family, um, why is this filling this whole thing? We'll just color it in. Um, because my family does such a big gathering, like I'm not able to attend. Um, and that's, that's fine. You know, you have to make do with what you have. But if anyone else is in that situation, I would love to have a place for them to go so that they actually feel like, hey, I can be included in something. It doesn't have to look normal. We can um, honor what actually happened on this day um, in history. Uh, I mean, like if you're in the United States, honor exactly what happened because it's not good. <laughs> not good, dudes. Um, but I would love to have a place for that, for people, um, because it's hard when you, when you're in a place that, um, your family just isn't quite, why is this not working? Like, I'm not... Let's just use a different one. Let's see if a different one works. Nope. Smaller. Oh. Oh, that's why it's not working. Is that why it's not working? No. Down here. Yep, that's why. Okay, hold on. Um, I'd like for people to have a place to feel welcome if they need one. Because, you know, if you have a huge family like I do and you're just not comfortable with that amount of people, um, you shouldn't just be like ruled out of the holiday altogether. You know what I mean? And like, we also just need to recognize that celebrating this might not be the best thing. <laughs> Especially in the way that we, why didn't that move? Celebrating Thanksgiving the way that we celebrate Thanksgiving currently is not honoring the people who were wronged during this time in history um, and I feel like we should spend a little bit more time honoring that. Not that I am the most educated of people on that topic, but I do try. I try my best. So, you know, if you're here and you think that'd be a great idea, feel free to tell me. If you still want to lurk, also fine. Everything, as long as people are comfortable, fine with me. I will just be here. <laughs> why are highlights so hard? I don't know why I have so much trouble with these. One of my, I don't, I. I watch a lot of gaming content and I watch some art. One of my favorite artists currently, just because of the way she edits and does it. Like, not necessarily her style of art, but her whole brand is amazing. Mariah Elizabeth, she just has a huge follower base. Um, very fun, family friendly, um, pastel colors, um, cartoon vibes, like just 
very sure of herself, very confident. Uh, or it's, it, that's how it comes across on camera. She could be the most anxious person and uh, she's coming off real well. But, um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get better at uh, not losing my train of thought because that is not helpful. You know why this isn't working? Because we are below the layer that I want to be drawing on top of. That's why this isn't working. What face? I think he might be stern faced. I mean, this guy is sad. This guy is happy. I think this guy's gonna be grumpy. Just gonna be like a weird little bear family that are just friends. The, the, the original story, if you ever get the chance to read it, it's very odd. <laughs> And it's like a gift that some aunt gave her nephew, I believe. And I'm like, you gave this to your nephew. I would never. <laughs> My nephew is like, um, like most people would not call Like, essentially, my nephews are actually my first cousins once removed, but we just call them my nephews because that's the easiest way to do it. Less confusing for them, less confusing for me, especially. Just as my family is so large, that it's pretty difficult to uh, have the correct information out there. I don't know if I like the shading on any of these. I mean, it's kind of cute. I need, like, some sort of texture on this. Because I'm hating how flat that is. These are a little less flat. Still not great. Let's see. Dude, how do people do this? Like, my throat is already getting sore. I've only been here for an hour and ten minutes. Um... We're gonna have a rough time with this, you know? Why well, schedule two hours, I suppose, instead of... Clip. Does that even have any texture on it? Like... Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm mad at that. I gotta erase this. That we need another clip to multiply. Grab this color. If I go down, I like that a little bit better. These brushes were a find. These, um, even these, um, bottom brushes over here are all by the same person. I'm not going to assume gender because that's not right, but Martina pulls these. These are also from her. You can get them all on um, DeviantArt if you're interested in them. People seem to really like those brushes. The one I do abstract reels on my Instagram because that's what I do for my automatic drawing. And um, this is the only brush pack that anyone has asked about. Everything else, people are just kind of like, meh, don't need to know about that. But this brush pack, people are like, what is that? Tell me. Which is kind of cool. So I don't even know if she's still drawing. Um, I probably should find her on Instagram if I can because she probably makes some really cool digital oil paintings and stuff. Um, but 
Actually, this isn't that bad. What do I want for this background? I feel like maybe screen and just try a couple of things because I have absolutely no idea what I want. Also, am I getting quieter as time goes on? I don't know. I'm trying to do my best to be the same. Ooh, I hate that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. This one? Ooh, okay. What's that? Oh yeah, okay. I'm a fan of that. I almost want like some sort of pattern on top of it. What do I have? These are trees. But like do something Ooh. I don't think I like that oh you know why because it's in blue let's grab this let's see if this is better I don't know it kind of looks like luck of the Irishy like I don't think I like that I really don't. What about... Can you tell I'm like putting off the frames because I don't want to do them? Because <laughs> I don't know how exactly. What's this? I feel like maybe if I put this under... I need it to be really light. And then I feel like maybe if I put it under, it's working. Last time I streamed, also, like, I showed the end of my... Um, <laughs> I showed the, the end illustration, but for some reason, like, the stream got stuck on, like, a close-up. And so the end illustration ended up not being in the stream. Um, at all. And I also was terrified of speaking, so it's just music. I think that's pretty normal though for art streams. I just tend to like the ones where people um, actually talk and you can listen to someone with a soothing voice. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I'm trying to give people. I'm like, what do I like? What do I want in a stream? And can I emulate that in my own stream, you know? If I even like to do this, I feel kind of weird talking to myself like I do. Um, but also, it's not the worst thing. And I don't know if, like, I'm going to see how I do. Um, like, sometimes I can render things really quickly, and then sometimes I take forever. Um, so I just tried to use my, <laughs> just tried to use my, my stylus on my phone because I have my phone open for chat and I just want to make sure I'm not ignoring anyone's messages. I'm not, thank god, but like I have my thing open and I just tried to close the, something with my pen and my pen is not, doesn't work with <laughs> Well, I'm not that bright sometimes. Um, I need to take a break from looking at this for a minute, so I'll just talk about something that um, I rendered really quickly. Um, let's see if I can open it up. Uh, so, like I said, I was trying to put off my stream because anxiety before I get on. Once I'm on, I'm fine, but I have terrible anxiety before I get on. Um, and for some reason, I decided that... I needed um, an entirely new stream layout because the first stream I did, I had chat on screen and nobody was talking <laughs> because uh, I'm a new streamer and, you know, 
who's going to talk. Uh, his, there's maybe one other viewer here. Uh, but like this, I think only took me um, two hours to render total. This is my new profile picture that I just did. Um, it, there's like issues like I still need to work on noses. Like you can see her nose is messed up. <laughs> Um, and it's supposed to look like me, so like, the bun is way too large, but I was like, I realized that way too late at the rendering stage that I didn't want to, I didn't want to, um, change it then, because that would be a lot of effort that I didn't want to put in. But this, in total, took me about two hours to render, whereas, um, what we're currently working on, this, which is, you know, I think... I need more texture on the bears. I definitely need to work on the frames. Um, but we've been working on this for a little over an hour. Um, just this. I don't think it's like 45 minutes out from being done at all. It could be if I get a like sudden surge of um, inspiration. Um, hold on, I'm just gonna take a drink and I'm gonna mute it. my mic. My mute my mic because I don't want to like gross anyone out. Okay, I am back. But I have come like a seriously long way from um where i started do you want to see the first piece that i did <laughs> maybe i'll save that for another day the first piece i did is so bad i've shown it on my i've shown it on my instagram i've definitely shown it on my tiktok because i did like a where i started to where i go went um and oh my god, I forgot how bad it was. It was so bad. But I hadn't drawn in um, a long time. And it turns out the style I was trying to um, draw in was not really my style, even though like I did pretty well. Um, I can show you, let's see, can we show you? I'll show you one of my email packs, just I need a break from this. Um, three bears thing for like a few minutes and then we'll go back to it but just like I need to take a step back for a minute my favorite one is hold on this one oh no to open it like this. In here. This is my favorite one. Got a little crabby boy. A little puffer fish. A little clam. Oop. Dude, let's move this. Okay. A little seahorse. Derpy whale. A shark. A little stingray. Little turtle. Little turtle. This is my favorite pack I've done so far. I've done a couple packs. I don't think anyone's bought this pack because, you know, I'm not good at marketing. <laughs> Even though I take in marketing courses, I'm really bad at marketing. Um, which, you know, something I gotta work on. We gotta figure it out if I wanna do this. But I think they're really cute. My favorite pack so far. Um, I think my favorite is a tie between Derpy Whale and Seahorse. Those are my two that I really enjoy. <laughs> um, but sometimes you just need to walk away. I also should probably save this because it's probably causing issues. Um, but sometimes you just need to walk away from an artwork for a couple of minutes. Normally I would take this as the time 
to walk away for the entire day and I wouldn't do it until tomorrow. Um, but this is due on Wednesday and that's not a lot of time to leave for finishing touches <laughs> at all. Um, so we'll just walk away for a couple minutes and then we'll go back. But I just need a tiny, tiny little break um, because we've been live. I mean, I only spent an hour and 15 minutes on that, but we've been live for an hour and 20 minutes. Um, what else can I show? I know there's not a lot of people here and like it says, what's weird is like it always says there's one viewer, but like there's four people here. Um, which is fine, but to make it to affiliate like I want to, I think I need 50 followers and I need to have five people chat at once or something like that. Um, I think that's a little way, like that's a long ways off with what I'm doing currently. Hopefully like Thursday I have more people here um, so that I can, you know, it's hard to have a conversation with one person, like, because you just, like, it doesn't flow naturally. You just, like, have to come up with all the topics yourself. It's like talking at, like, a wall or something, because nobody's talking back. Um, just, you know, every Twitch streamer probably, unless they had a fan base before, probably has to do this thing or they talk to themselves for like a couple of weeks and then like some people show up and don't work and like say hi which is really awesome um but like currently you know it's just essentially talking at a wall and the thing I watched that was like how to twitch stream or whatever it was like talk like you're making content for something else but I like don't want to do YouTube like I will put my VODs up like I said because I can understand wanting to binge watch and I want people to see my journey like as new Twitch streamers if I end up doing this I would love if I was successful for people to be able to see like, exactly how awkward I was with like this is my third stream um, my first stream I did Minecraft and I didn't talk, I just had music on the whole time. My second stream, I did art, that's on a VOD. Um, my first stream, I didn't realize you had to turn on VODs, but um, my second stream, I did. Still didn't talk. I tried to stream on Saturday, and my internet was like, I hate you. Um, so I didn't do that. <laughs> and today, I'm just like awkwardly talking to myself in a room, <laughs> trying to do art and getting worn out and you know needing to look at different stuff because I'm not used to rendering for this long and talking at the same time. I usually like get caught up in rendering while someone else is like talking on stream um, and that's really you know that's when I get most of my work done but I'm hoping that this process will allow me to render successfully. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, what else can I show you? I can show you a couple of my abstract pieces because you will not believe, like I have, I mean, you're already looking at like the strangest style. Like I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this. And I have these. And these are all made by the same person. Like, what what threads them together? What the heck am I looking at? Because, like, they don't look like the same person drew them. But, um, let me show you. Oh, I'm gonna allow myself another five minutes, I think, of a break. Um, but I'll show you some of my abstract stuff. So there's a fly in my room, which is great. This is one of my abstract, oh wait, wait. I always try to open them up and it's like a PNG because it's the final version. And like that opens up on a different app. Like, hello? 
Hello? Did I open? Oh, you know why? Where are you opening? Hello? Hello? Oh, I can't drag it onto this one. Hold on. I dragged it onto this one. No. Okay. Well, we'll just open up this version of it then. Because why not? This is one of my abstract. <laughs> like, I, I made what? Like, <laughs> like, what? What am I doing? Here's another one. Is it gonna open? Like, what? Wait, tell me, tell me that the same person made this and this. I have too many things open. Go away. This, this, those emotes, this, this. Like, how? Like, what? <laughs> My style is so all over the place and people are like, you gotta pick one style. Or like, find your style or whatever. Like, I'm taking a course currently, it's just like, who are your people? And where are your people? And what are you doing? And why are you doing it? <laughs> um, and, you know, I just have my emotes, and I have this weird abstract stuff, and I have like, this weird semi-realistic piece, like... <laughs> where is the thread? I don't know where the thread is. I need someone to help me. Um, because how do these tie together? But this shape tends to be, I don't know, this is my subconscious shape that I tend to, I tend to do. I don't understand why it's a subconscious um, shape that I tend to do, but like it shows up in a lot of different pieces. Like this one as well. Hold on, this one. I think this one, this one did very badly. I guess the colors don't resonate with people, but like, look how pretty that is. Look at this blending, and like, I don't know, the texture I think is beautiful. I don't know, I don't know if it reads on screen, can you see it? Um, I think it's a really beautiful piece, personally. This, I don't know if I like as much. The blue turned out really good. This didn't as much. This, if you're seeing this texture and you like this texture, it's my personal blending brush. <laughs> um, I do have that linked on like my Instagram and I actually think I have it linked in Twitch. Like it's my Gumroad shop. You can get my blending brush, but you don't need to. But I just think that this came out beautiful and it didn't do well at all. How many minutes do I have before I have to go back to rendering? <laughs> How long can I stall? It's like, first I stall getting onto stream. Now I stall on stream, not wanting to do the things that I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, like, but... Like, the frames I'm looking at inspiration are gold frames. Frames, not rings. No. <laughs> when you just look up at the captions and you see them and you're like, that's not what I'm saying at all. Um, it's hilarious. Also, like, my shading on my screen versus the shading on the TV screen, my second monitor, um, very, very different. And this guy up top looks crazy. His eyes just, I don't think his eyes are right. Huh. The real awkward part about this is another tip I got for uh, becoming a better streamer is that I have to rewatch this whole VOD before I go back into a second stream. Well, the fourth stream. But I have to watch this, and I always, I don't know if anyone else has this experience, 
Like, whenever I see a video of myself or have a voice recording of myself, I just cringe. And if there's a video of myself, I literally cover my eyes with my hands because I'm like, how am I so awkward? And I'm not even that awkward. It's just like secondhand embarrassment. I don't know. <laughs> I also don't know if these captions are too big. But I mean, like, I'm... I have a lot of trouble reading small text on a small screen. And so my screen, like... When I had chat up on my screen, I couldn't read it whatsoever. Because it was so small. Oh man, I gotta get back to rendering. <laughs> no more stalling. Um, I almost feel like I need more references. Because... Let me show- like, can I show you? Like, is this gonna be okay? Oh, I- No, it's- it's gonna be fine if I show it. These are my references, right? For my three frames, if you look at these dudes. These dudes. These dudes. These dudes. I'll take that back out. Um... But, like, they're gold, right? So, like... Can I do the same thing? I mean, I assume you could take a gold painting, I mean a gold frame, and paint it whatever color you want, but like it's at the right vibe here. Do we want a wooden frame? What exactly, what exactly are we looking for here? Because I have no idea. I think I have, I think it's called Aphantasia. Yes, a Fantasia. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it's essentially that you don't, um, I'm stalling still. Just, you know, I'm gonna stall. <laughs> um, you don't have mental imagery. So a lot of times when I'm drawing, like I'm drawing from a reference, I don't tend to have like a very strong idea. Um, or like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like in the middle of my head, not in front of my eyes. Like it's not really a picture at the front of my brain. It's more of a like general idea of like a mishmash of things that I kind of know. I don't know if that's right. I think it partially I have it and like not fully because there's just no, you just see black. But I mean, that's what like I see black. Like, is it further back? Like what, where's your mental image? Like where, where is that? Like what, how do, like is it in the middle of your head? Because if it's in the middle of your head, I don't have it. If it's not in the middle of your head, then I don't know what everybody's talking about. Do I want these frames to be this fancy? Oh man, why is this so difficult? Let's see. Let's first find the layer that the frames are on, because I have a million layers, as per usual. They're up here. <laughs> you see this? Oh my god, I should just leave it like that. Yep, just gonna leave it like that. That's hilarious, sorry. Um, turn this on, this is my frame layer. Start with this one. I feel like this one's gonna be the easiest to do. I feel like maybe like a just a little bit of something. I probably should have put on a ruler for this. My throat, dude. I'm not. I'm not used to talking as much. I don't think I've ever talked this much in my life. Gotta decide if this is something I enjoy or not. What is this song? I don't hate it, but like I don't. I wish I could get like a, I don't know how expensive they are, 
it's like a blanket license so you can play like pop music there are just songs that i would like to listen to you yeah, know and i listen to like imagine dragons and the fray and I don't really know bands, but those three would be, I mean, those two would be great. You'd like a, Twitch should get like a radio license type deal where they be very expensive if they couldn't do it, but like, that'd be cool. I could. What am I thinking about this? It added some shape to it. Multiply top of this. Let's also clip it. It's too big. Um, actually, actually, first off, let me merge these two. This one. what we can do about this. Man, I don't have a study hand at all. Okay. I'll actually take this out. I want this to be screen. Let's do little, little thingies. Maybe below that, we want a multiply layer. I always do that. That's a little bit more depth to it. Maybe. be feeling about that. Not the worst, not the best. I mean like I just why did I decide a frame was a good idea when I'm like the only frame I'll show you I'm going off on a tangent again because um I'm not liking how this is going. Uh, open up which one was it? Just looking at this list here and none of it is none of it is um making it through my brain the only frame i've done is for this piece right here and you can see drew and then i clipped a golden layer on top of my drawing because <laughs> I didn't know how to do a frame I didn't know so like this is what I did also she's very pretty but she's too pale and too gray now that I look at her you know how far out nearly a month later and I hated this hair when I did it but I just didn't have more bandwidth to do it anymore but her eyes are quite pretty though. I did a good job with those. I still do my eyes that way. Um, anyway, that's the only frame I've ever done. I haven't changed anything. What are you talking about? Save this. Just delay. Delay in every way that you can. <laughs> um. Supposed to be live for another. Let's say at least an hour, and then I'm gonna need a snack. I'm gonna need a snack so bad. I'm gonna need a snack. Do you like savings? Like you have all these weird things happen to you where you like get hungry at weird times and you get all confused. 
is your like I normally have a snack at nine but like it's eight and I'm starving and it's like oh because it would be nine and you got up an hour earlier than you normally would so like obviously you're gonna be hungry <laughs> pretty obviously you're gonna be hungry oh man What do I do with this red frame? Do I even like this yellow frame? Maybe we try adding like on top of this not clipped. It's a normal layer. This darker color. Maybe we try doing like a little bit of detailing so I can avoid everything else. I don't know if this is going to work out. I mean, like, I, like, literally, if you're following someone to try and figure out what their style is, I'm sorry. I have no style so far. Doing my best to figure things out, but, like... Oh, man. I just haven't figured it out yet. Oof. When I first started, I followed a bunch of um, like children's illustration artists, and I was like, their style is so cool. But that's just, I don't think that's what my style is, even though this piece kind of reminds me of that almost, but less watercolor I don't know. There's something about children's illustration artists on Instagram that is very satisfying. Um, no. <sighs> there are just certain angles that work and certain angles that don't. And that is apparently not an angle that works for me. This is gonna look scuffed probably at the end because... No. Just detailing without knowing what I'm doing. No. Hopefully this looks... I just don't know what to do for the square frame, so I'm hoping that this works. And then we can like do something. You know, to fix that little bit right there. My captioner is probably yelling at me that I'm doing, being too quiet. I literally... I'm just a quiet person, guys. <laughs> I'm just quiet. My literal... I had to change my volume settings on my mic because I had to do it, I think it's on like, it's like either two times or 200 times or something like that. Some Something with a two, might be 20 times. Something with a two. Clearly I, I know numbers well. Um, I had to send it so high because I just, I talk so quietly. Also, I'm like the first person up in my house. I haven't told anyone that I'm going to try streaming. And like, I don't want to tell anyone I'm trying streaming. Um, unless it kind of works out before doing that. Because like, telling people that you're awkwardly talking to yourself in your room um, for a couple hours for no reason. Like, that's, that's an interesting way to make people think that you're crazy. Um, so hopefully no one asks, essentially. Maybe no one will hear. I'll just tell them I was muttering to myself in my room. It's like I'm trying to build up my voice muscles for the wedding in December so that I don't come off as super awkward. But really, I'm just streaming. Oof. There was a TikTok that like, it was like relatable art moments and it was just a digital artist drawing a line 20 times because it wasn't perfect. Yeah, that's relatable. That's super relatable. Oh, 
these are not evenly spaced. It's fine. Let's see what this looks like. You know. I'm not mad at it. I'm really not mad at it. I'm not at all mad at it. I think you can't actually see it too much unless you're really zoomed in. It kind of adds a dimension to it. I don't tend to like lines in my work, but um, I think it adds something. Okay, now I have to do this red one. Should I merge these? I'm always afraid to merge layers. I need some more water. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I need a better way to mute this, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I just remember, like, I feel like I've gotten quieter and quieter as my um, throat is sore and, you know, I'm kind of getting running out of things to talk about. Um, but I just am remembering I was watching this art streamer and she was streaming and her, her parents didn't know she was streaming, so she was like whispering, but she was too loud and she got caught, so she had to <laughs> she had to log off because she was caught. Which was really funny to me. How does one even frame? Also these lines are so clean in comparison to And I assume that I just draw I do at this point? I mean, I don't even know. I could even. Like for this frame, there's kind of like a light gold thingy. Do I do? I feel like maybe I do like a rectangle here. Does that make sense to do? But I need to. What the heck? Whoa. Whoa. I've never noticed these, uh, tabs before. That's fine. Don't need those. No roundness. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Did you see me try and make it with, uh, transparent? No. 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 That's fine. <laughs> I don't know the song, but I feel like I'm in. Okay. Is my background like... I think the rectangle is not a... Uh, Fine, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I feel like we need like little. Hopefully, this works out. Doing all this detail, I mean, like, ultimately, this is gonna be on Instagram. Probably gonna be about. I got. I think it. I think it adds something. I think it's worth it. It's kind of 
kind of funny because I think Pretzel Rocks counts as a chatter in my chat when I look at my, um, my stream insights. I think like I get a one unique chatter type thing and I think I also count. So really at the end of the day, I really only need three people to chat with me in order to make affiliate, but the followers is going to be a real sticking point. Do I have stabilization on this? Turn you off. Go away. I'm going to need it back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe like a four. Okay. I need a little bit. Not a lot though. 15 was a lot. I used to use, um, I used to use 33 stabilization because I just, my hand was so shaky and I wanted everything to be perfect. And now I'm like, you can just redraw it. Like, just try again. It's fine, don't worry about it. Like, if it's not perfect on the first stroke, it doesn't have to be. Just redraw it. But I was like, no, when I make a mark, it's a final mark. I was thinking like traditional media or something like that, I guess. I don't really know. But, um,. It's crazy. I'm really glad that um, the internet likes me today. I don't know why. Like, we just got our house painted. It was gray, now it's yellow. Um, we just got our house painted, and for some reason, after we got the house painted, the internet just like three or four times went kaput over the past couple of days. And we have really like good, expensive internet. You're like, why is this happening? We weren't overloading it. Um, so I'm glad that that hasn't happened today because they said they fixed it. And I was like, hopefully it's fixed because I'm going live on Monday. That's part of my schedule, making a new schedule for myself. This is what's part of my schedule and I need it to happen. This texture, when I'm looking it up close, like right, this green, it's beautiful. Texture is one of those things that I really enjoy. I wonder how they count viewers at Twitch. Like, it really doesn't make any sense to me. Like, is there a problem with, like, do they not count bots? Like. I don't understand. There's supposedly like four people in chat, but I only have one viewer and it's probably myself because I have my stream insights open on my phone. It's probably what's going on. I don't even know if I can make this in two. Um, content for YouTube. I mean, I'll just, I'll do a VOD. We'll do a VOD. It's fine. <laughs> I've been live for almost two hours at this point. I feel kind of bad because I can only be live for so long because I have other things to do um, and I want to make this a priority, but also like I'm, I really at the hour point ran out of things to talk about. else can I talk about? Someone just got up and went downstairs, which is fine. Um, I mean, that's a good time. Okay, it's... In case you're wondering what time it is, it's 7.20 at about, I don't know how much longer I'm going to stream either, half an hour, I think half an hour to an hour more, I'm hoping if I get this final frame done, then I'll be mostly, well I mean like I don't know if I'm quite satisfied with the rendering of these bears, let me see, hold on. I 
I feel like they need a little bit more work. Kind of cute the way they are. I mean, this polar bear definitely needs more work. But, um, if I get this final teal frame done, I'll probably feel good enough that it's like just close enough that I can post it on Wednesday and not be worried about it. Like, I'll be happy enough with it. I mean, other than this, like, these eyes, like, also I didn't. I think it's these two. It is. It is. Just delay. This huge delay. Um, these two. <laughs> Poor Clip Studio. Once I've been, like, streaming for too long, it gets really angry at me. Um, and part of that is, like, I'm recording the stream. Like, this... I'm making a time lapse. So this file is probably huge. I'm gonna distract myself with this time lapse in a minute. Let's go like this. Let's merge. Nope. Undo, undo, undo. We go here. These three. Is that it? This, is this the right one here? It's this one. Okay, these ones can be merged. Just add an extra layer selected. And then, ooh, what am I doing? Just feel like they need to be. The tiniest bit smaller. They're just very white. Very white, yes, very white. <laughs> very white. Why is it doing that? Why? Um, I don't know. There's something about... I think it's just because it's black. Can I take like a... Like a of this? Can I take this? And I go like... No. Go like this. See if this is helpful in any way. And then we'll make a decision. I mean, maybe the more gray. You can even do like a yellow. This is just me fussing. They're just very white. They're so white. Go like this. Better. I feel like it's a little bit better. Let's clean that up. I mean, they're essentially stuffed animals, so like, it's not... Oh no, did I do it on top? Oh no. I messed up. I messed up. Oh my god, my poor clip studio. <laughs> it's telling me someone's time to leave. Is my, um... Is this still working? This thing? This is saving right now, so like, this is fine. But, um, hello? Yeah, okay, we're fine, so it just hated me because I was saving. Um, but I done messed up. Okay, let's add layer on top of that. 
And then we want to spray with this green. And that just has a little bit of, you know. Can you hear my Tommy? Sorry if you can't. Need a snack. Need a snack. Um. Also, what is going on with this thing? Hello? Are you working? I think it is. Does it need to be open? Does it need to be open? Sometimes I just have trouble with this web captioner. I'll just leave it open, I guess. Um, hopefully it's okay. Hopefully it still works. We're almost done anyway, so it doesn't really matter that this is like, everything's going to put on me. Okay. I wish I could still see OPS, but I can't, and we'll just accept that. Okay, let's just do this last frame, and then I'm going to accept that this is it for today. Um, and move on, because I have other things to do, unfortunately. It's so funny. <laughs> could do it without, like, this line work is on it, the other line work isn't. It's just so funny that they're just not. Okay. One final thing, and then we're done. I gotta open my thing back up because I think that. Oh, sorry. That we need to add a little bit of pizzazz to this one. I might have to give up today. Just it's Clip Studio is just okay. No, it's fine. It was just a little bit, a little bit upset. A tiny, tiny bit upset. I feel like something like move you to the top. Don't clip it. Something like this. Might be too much. But also I need more stabilization because now I do. <laughs> I wish I could listen to this music offline without it like chatting. Because I want to like figure out exactly which playlist is best for me. But it is always on. It's always chatting, which makes sense because, you know, you want the artist to get credit for their work. But I just wish that I could really figure out exactly what I liked. Race. This one's crazy. Undo that. Can't believe we're almost done. Like if I hadn't been streaming this, I would have just probably been putting this off for the whole day. And not wanting to do it and ultimately rushing a lot tomorrow, trying to get it done. But we're almost there. Just a little, I have to figure out if I like what the bears look like. And I think that orange dude and black dude one um, are gonna need, they're gonna need some help. Do that. 
this one and this one. I should be able to merge these without a problem, I would assume. Oh, I know what's going on. This one, and this one. Go down here. Perfect, okay. Oh man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go away. Where are you? What layer are you on? <laughs> the problem with having 20 million layers. We don't know which layer this thing is on. There we are. Okay. Let's do. Being that layer has to be above this layer, right? Did not turn anything important off? Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. This one. And then on this one. That's... I'm losing it, guys. I really am. It's almost time to leave. Because I'm really losing it. Slowly losing my sanity. Losing what I... Losing the script. I want some tea for my poor little sore throat. We'll have some jasmine green tea in a minute. So we're done with this. And then, you know, I'm gonna feel pretty good about, I might set my um, stream to be a little bit earlier just because I think that might work better. Oh, here we are. I keep doing that. Transparent. Yep, that totally is going to do something for me. That's wrong. Also, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just am... We're just choosing random things to do. Really reaching the end of a rope here. It's a long time to stream. How do people do this? I don't know. So like this is not this is not the same design. Shh. It's the same design in my brain. Why is this one so flat? If it's the wrong way, but like it's fine. Don't worry. Don't, we don't talk about it. We don't talk about the, the issue. 